Everybody, thanks for joining me today I'm going to make this card using some ink blending and some foiling I love to foil things it gives that super bright shine and metallic -y look oh it is just so gorgeous so the first thing I did here I actually cut out this stencil on my silhouette cameo and I just had a file to cut out like a deckle edge rectangle and I cut it out um, using some silhouette stencil material it's a very kind of thin material um, it almost looks like a vellum because it's kind of see-through so i made the stencil four and a quarter by five and a half so it fit on a regular a2 card base and then i just cut the rectangle out kind of in the center but up a little bit so in the center as far as from left to right but this the rectangle is um, up higher on the card. It's not completely centered vertically. I'm using some Distress Oxides here, um, and I have three different colors. I'm using Shaded Lilac, Seedless Preserves, and Dusty Concord. Um, of course, I picked purple because purple is the most beautiful color in the world. Um, I started out with the Shaded Lilac, and the color I'm getting on my cardstock there isn't really true shaded lilac because I had some ink left over on my dauber there. Um, so you probably want to use a new dauber and maybe keep one for each color, which I usually do. Um, I don't know why I didn't for this one, but the colors still came out pretty, so it didn't really matter. And then um, on this pad, when I opened it up, there's a little cat nail. <laughs> I don't know how that got in there. I think it was probably when I was trimming cat nails one time and must have had the ink pad open. But anyway, so when I do the ink blending, I do the first two colors and then I go back to the first color and try to kind of blend them together. And then I turn the card around to do the third color so I'm not getting my hand in the way. These Distress Oxides just blend really well together, so it's my favorite ink for doing ink blending. And not only do they blend well, but you can also spritz water onto them and get a really cool textured look, which we will do here in a couple minutes. So I'm just going back through now and um, kind of blending together. You can see on my Shaded Lilac that color all the way to the left that I do have a little bit of a dark circle there from that ink blender, but it won't hurt it. It'll be fine. So then I pull this up and I did use pixie spray on that stencil before I put it down to help keep it where it needs to go. So there is our blended background. The next thing I'm going to do, um, we're going to add some shimmer to it. I'm getting out my shimmer spritz here, shaking it up, and then I just spritz it over the entire um, panel there. And it's a little hard to see it now, but hopefully when I hold it up, you can see the shimmer on it. It gives just a really nice, subtle shimmer over the whole background. Um, and I try to press it so I get some bigger droplets, too. It's kind of hard to control, so you can't always control that. And I'm just dabbing up some of the bigger droplets here. And now this is just plain water. I just spritz it into my hand and then just flick it onto the card. And that helps me get um, some bigger droplets than just spritzing it directly onto the card. And then I'm dabbing it up with a paper towel to remove some of that ink so we get those cool little spots everywhere. So the next thing I'm doing is cutting out some snowflakes. And this black um, paper that you see there, those are solid toner sheets. So we're going to cut these out and then put some foil on them. And to be able to do that, you do need the solid toner sheets. 
these solid toner sheets are from Creative Vision Stamps. Um, she's actually retiring, so she's having kind of a retirement going out of business sale. So I'm not sure how long the supplies will last, but I really like these toner sheets. So if you want some, head over there, check out her toner sheets, check out her foil is amazing. Um, I wasn't sure which snowflakes I would want, so I just cut out the three snowflakes that I had in my stash. And then I was just going to foil them all and see which one I liked best. And this, these toner sheets really die cut nicely. So I have my mink machine on in the background heating up. And the foil I'm using here is the Deco Foil Amethyst Watercolor. And it is just really beautiful. So you can... I hope you can see there that it's not a solid color. It's um, It has a variance of colors in it, and I think it, it gives a really pretty result. So this is the best part. Oh my gosh, I love foiling. Here we go. There it is. How beautiful is that? And I think it fits really nicely over this rectangle. Um, I think the rectangle gives a nice spotlight for our focal image there. This was a pretty kind of simple and fast card to put together. I actually made several of these um, and then I ended up using some other dyes instead of snowflakes as well. So here I'm going to emboss a sentiment. So I'm, I needed some thank you cards. So this um, stamp set is from Avery L. And it has different sentiments in it. And I just love the font. And I'm using the Brutus Monroe Night Shift Purple Embossing Powder. Which is one of my favorite purple embossing powders ever. I use it quite a bit. I just really like the font on this stamp set too. It's, it's very pretty. And I have my heat gun on in the background heating up. Now you can see here, as I usually do, I have some fingerprints from the ink blending. So this is um, a tool I actually saw Jennifer McGuire use, and it's a battery-operated eraser. So it's good at getting kind of light fingerprints up. It won't get dark smudges or anything like that. If you have something that won't come up with that, you'll need to get like the Tombow um, mono sand eraser which i currently can't find mine so i need to get a new one but those are really handy to have around okay so now we have the embossing done and we just have to adhere our snowflake to our card so i'm using some um, liquid glue and i have on my liquid glue um a detailed tip on it so it helped me get some light small dots over all of those little projections on the snowflake there and I think it looks really cool on the card and one thing I did after I put that down because some glue did kind of seep up around things and I was worried if I rubbed the foil it would rub the foil off of the die cut but it didn't so I just went over with a soft cloth and rubbed off any of that glue that kind of made a smudge on the foil um, and it came off really easily and it did not harm the foil at all. So there is our card for today. Um, I really love the foiling technique. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Mm -hmm.